In this video, we're going to look at how to integrate MyOpenMath, WAMAP.org, or any other iMathis site with Blackboard. So to start, we've built our course in MyOpenMath, and ideally you want to set up your course as much as possible in advance um, because it just simplifies the process a lot. So let's go ahead and under Course Items Export, we're going to go ahead and export the entire course, but you can also select individual items if you want. And we're going to indicate that we're exporting for Blackboard. Um, I've already set up the, the due dates in my Open Math, so I'm going to go ahead and include those in my export. That'll bring those due dates into Blackboard for me. Uh, and now we're going to go ahead and download the Blackboard cartridge. Now there are two options here, the original which was a common cartridge and then we now support a native Blackboard cartridge and that's the recommended option so that's the one I'm going to download. Alright, so that just downloaded onto my computer and so now we're going to switch over to uh, Blackboard. That's not Blackboard, that's Blackboard. All right, so from my uh, Blackboard course, I'm going to scroll down to um, Packages and Utilities and select uh, Import Package. So again, that was Packages and Utilities Import Package. And I'm going to click the Import Package button. Give it a sec. There it goes. And now we're going to browse my computer and select the file that we just downloaded and then select the content that you want to import and I'm going to go ahead and import everything. So let's click submit and then wait for it to finish importing which will probably take a moment. Alright it says it's done and most likely it's going to say that there's some uh, some issues uh, particularly configuration. So notice that now under the left hand column here we have a new uh, navigation block folder that so says precalc1 for LTI and all the content from my open math has been imported. The things to be thing to be aware of here is that things like textbook links and discussion forums and text items are going to now be natively imported into Blackboard. So they now live in Blackboard separate from my open math, which means if you change them in my open math or add new items in my open math, you're not going to see those automatically or the changes automatically in Blackboard. Uh, however, the assessments, the assignments, uh, are going to embed my open math directly into Blackboard. So in that case, if you were to, let's say, change the assessment settings or add or remove questions, you would see that reflected because, um, again, the assignment is just being embedded. Now you notice right now it says invalid link, and that's because we haven't configured it yet. So now we need to go through the configuration step. Now for the first step of that, this isn't, you don't always have to do this. But if you're not seeing anything that says LTI links here, we'll go to Tool Availability, and then we'll scroll down and look for uh, LTI. So this is the integration standard that my Open Math uses, and we'll go ahead and click Submit on that. So now that we've enabled LTI in our course, under the left navigation under Packages and Utilities, you'll notice there's now a Manage LTI links. Again, your, your college may already have LTI enabled. If so, you won't need to go through that step. All right, so now let's go to Manage LTI Links, and you'll notice that uh, for every assignment in the class, we now have uh, something here, and they're all listed as broken right now. So what we need to do is uh, edit the credentials for one of these. And it's going to ask for a key and secret. So we're going to pop back over to My Open Math, and you'll notice right here at the bottom is listed the key and secret. By the way, if you have trouble with any of these or you get can't remember these steps, this link right here, the Blackboard setup instructions, goes through everything we're talking about here. So we're going to go ahead and copy over the key and the secret, and. We're going to click this box that says apply these credentials to all link from the same domain. That way we don't only have to do this once instead of doing it for every single one. 
So ideally, that would have set things up properly. However, it would appear that the Blackboard administrator uh, needs to approve the use of my open math. And so I'm going to go pretend I'm the administrator and take care of that. All right, so I just had the Blackboard administrator approve this domain. And now you'll notice that all the links are listed as working. So now let's go ahead and do the final step, which is the configuration step. So we're going to go ahead and click on any of the assignments in the class. It doesn't matter which one. Now, the very first time that you do this as the teacher, it's going to ask you to sign in. Don't worry, it's not going to ask students for this. And it's only going to ask you, the teacher, to do this once. Uh, it just needs to know how to associate your Blackboard account with your my open math account. So now we're going to get an option. We can either associate this Blackboard course with the course that we just exported, in which case the students will get enrolled into that class, or we can opt to create a copy of the my open math class and associate and enroll our students in that copy of the course. The first option is great if uh, you know, you're just importing a course, you want to use it, and that's all you're planning on doing. The second option is handy if you're either reusing a course that you've already used before, um, so you don't want to like mix your students with students that you already had, uh, or if the course that you imported is like a master course and you want to create sort of term-by-term -term copies of that master course. So either option is fine. Um, Again, the first is great for sort of simple basic use. The second is handy for things like master courses or reusing a course. And now there is our assignment embedded inside of uh, Blackboard. And again, students will be able to, to um, you know, do that as well. And uh, they won't see any additional steps. They'll just have to um, you know, click on the assignment, work on the assignment, uh, and and that's it. Uh, and you'll notice all the other assignments, we don't have to do that extra setup step. Uh, we just click on the assignment and they're all ready to go. So, um, the one last thing to mention is under the assignments, if you were to click edit, um, Because we imported using the native Blackboard cartridge, uh, they're already set up to be uh, to have the grades returned and show up in the in the Blackboard gradebook. Uh, if you had used the older course cartridge, uh, common cartridge import, you would need to manually turn on this evaluation. But luckily, it all happens automatically now. Uh, if you want to, now that it's imported, you can change the points possible, and they'll automatically get scaled appropriately. All right, and so that is how you uh, integrate MyOpenMath with Blackboard.